This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I was gonna do an everyday look. I might do that later, but I'm just in a creative mood and I am going to do whatever look comes to mind. We're gonna feel it out and then whatever it comes out to in the end, I will have a name for it. I'm actually in the mood to do my makeup, which isn't always the case. I just um, damped my beauty blender. I'm gonna take this off. And I, I have this mask on that I found on Amazon and I, I know I've talked about it before in one of my other videos, I don't remember which one, but I will link these, I'll link everything, but I'm in love with these face masks and they're not very expensive and I've tried other face masks on Amazon and so far they are by far my favorite. So I just have some of the serum on from that and then now I'm taking my Hourglass Vanish Primer and I'm gonna put it with my beauty blender. I don't know why, I just don't wanna use my hands. And then for my sanity, I have on my lips right now, I have my favorite, Maybelline Ink Crayon and Reach High. And then I have a little bit of my next favorite. It's the Hourglass. These are their lip oils in every shade I'm obsessed with. But this one in particular that I have on is in Slip. So. For once, I am not gonna start with my entire face. I am gonna start with my eyebrows. I, I'm just gonna start, I wanna see if I like doing that. So I'm gonna brush my eyebrows upwards. And then I'm gonna go with my Kosas eyebrow pencil in taupe. And I'm gonna focus, I'm gonna use the taupe for the inner corners. Right here. And I'm just very lightly kind of shading it. I'm gonna brush it just a little outwards. So I'm just gonna focus, ooh, focus on the inside with the color taupe. And now that I feel that those are pretty even, I'm now going to go in with my Kosas Eyebrow Pencil in Soft Brown. And I'm going to drag this out first. Right there. I like doing my eyebrows farther away. I feel like I can see the symmetry of them a little better. Like so. And for once in my life, I'm going to clean them up. And so I'm going to go in with, this is the MAC, the concealer. I don't know what these are called. I forget what these are called. The concealer, I don't know, concealer, I don't know. And this is in the shade. It's one of their darker ones. So one thing I've noticed in my lifetime is when I try to clean up my eyebrows, Sometimes I will want to go in with the concealer or something like that and usually concealers are lighter than You know most of the things that you're putting on your face and then you just have I feel like I always have like a white border around my Eyebrows and it doesn't make sense. So I have this color here. That's a little darker than I would usually like it's not a concealer more of a darker foundation And I'm just gonna lightly kind of clean these up with a sharp Brush like that. This is kind of like the old school way of doing them. I don't know why, I'm just like in a super creative mood. And I just want to try and do everything completely differently than I've ever done it before. Because this is the kind of person that I am. <laughs> now I'm going to take my Benefit Brow Freezer because I feel like they're already dark already. So I'm not going to go in with the tint. I want to go with the clear eyebrow gel. And I'm just going to lightly get these in place. I am debating if I want to do everything differently than I do it. Um, if I want to start with just eyes and not with the face that I usually do. 
when I do my makeup on other people, I usually almost always start with the eyes just because it's easier to clean up. Um, but with myself, I just don't... Because sometimes when I start with just the eyes on myself, I feel like I go a little too heavy. And sometimes I like to have like a clear base so I can kind of like slowly build more base off of a clean face than like a beat eye. And maybe we'll do that. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay, we're gonna go in with foundation and this is Luminous Silk Giorgio Armani in 5.75. And we're gonna get these on here. Now I'm gonna go in with my MAC brush here. And this is in 170. And I'm just gonna get this evenly all over my face. Now going in with my damp beauty blender. I'm gonna set this all real nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I'm going with Armani Beauty Concealer in the color four. And I'm just gonna lighten up just a bit around my eyes, around my nose, and my favorite hourglass concealer brush. Like, if I can be sponsored by any product, I'm gonna have a couple or many that I would really love, but this brush is my favorite. And I will say it every single time I use it. I'm gonna just kind of set it all with this beauty blender. I'm not sure if this brush is meant for this, but I'm gonna use it for it. And this is the Hourglass um, slanted brush like this. And now I'm gonna go in with the NARS, um, the bronzing cream in Laguna 07. And I'm going to start contouring. I just like to go a little underneath my cheekbone. I feel like it makes it pop a little more. I'm going to do more on this side. And again, you don't want to wipe. You're going to move your skincare, your foundation, everything. So I'm kind of like, you see padding definitely gonna do some up here one good thing that i'm happy about that my hair is darker is i can put on as much makeup as i want and it will look somehow a little more natural than when i am blonde everything just looks so amplified so i'm free <laughs> i like to make my my chin look smaller some people want to make their chins look bigger my chin's pretty out there. Not bad, I'm not knocking myself, but I like it when she's cute and tucked. I was trying to find this brush. This is Iconic London and it doesn't say which brush, but if you can kind of see, it's like a little slanted. I'm gonna take a little bit of this cream contour. Oh, okay, we're gonna blend this in a bit. Little button up. And for the first time, I'm going to go for my eyebrow down. Both sides. I like to make it a little cute right there. And I like to bring it down just a bit. We're going to blend it and it's going to look a lot better. Right? Right. I'm going to take my beauty blender. I'm just gonna lightly dab on it. Just a little bit. Now just to bring a little more definition out, I'm gonna stick with my same concealer, which is the Armani Beauty in shade four. I'm just gonna get this here. Again, I've never done this. I don't know why I just have this urge to just do I don't ever do. So I'm just gonna like leave this here for a minute. Why? Cause in my eyes it'll kind of like set a bit and maybe stay a little better, I don't know. And then we're gonna go back in maybe on the sides here with this, cause we are trying to snatch it, snatch this nose up. I think there's like some type of curse of like when I say, oh, I'm not gonna wear that much makeup or I'm just gonna do like a light everyday makeup. There's just something in my brain that fights against it like every time i'm like i'm not gonna wear that much makeup tonight and every time i start doing makeup i end up wearing way more 
and then it's always vice versa if i'm like looking to beat my face i'll try to do it and then i'm like and eh, never mind i'm just gonna throw something makeup on that's what i happened today too like i was gonna do an everyday makeup and we're going in we're going in so this is probably gonna be a long video but i'll try to hurry for blush i don't usually use this stuff not all the time i love it though and this is the charlotte tilbury glowgasm we've all seen it a million times i'm going to put it there because i'm gonna put a lot of makeup on i feel like i can handle this stuff have a nice little glow i'm gonna take a brush like so patting it around here okay we tried it and we're gonna keep trying but so far it's not the way i truly want it that's okay we're gonna set that's what we're gonna do we're gonna start with cute beauty um cherry blossom cake translucent powder i'm obsessed with this stuff and i love the way it smells i have a huge pack of these and i've had them forever and i'm finally at the last one um, I love these. I'm obsessed with them. I will link, again, I'll link everything below. So we are going to set this baby in place. So around here. I'm also going to set my eyes so my eyes are really easy to blend with eyeshadow. Sometimes when I find it to be too sticky, it's hard to blend. So with the eyes, um, I got a bunch of these MAC eyeshadow palettes. And like, I just used this one in my last video. And this one has these really cool tones that are really pretty. And as you can see, a little picture to see the color palette, which I think is really cute. This is obviously the pinker one. And I have a couple other ones in there, but I'm gonna try this one. I've never tried this one before. And usually for some reason, when my hair is super blonde, I don't like wearing pinks as much. I feel it's a little too girly and a little too, I don't know. I just don't like it, but with darker hair, love the pinks of this now that my hair's a little darker i feel okay to use this not and not that they're pink but they're just more of a uh warmer pinker tones to it so we are going to take this color right here and i'm going to start going up and then i'm going to go around like that v like i always talk about And the way you apply your eyeshadow is always going to change depending on like what kind of look you want and what your eye does. I just feel like with my kind of eyes, I find this to be the best. And I think and the reason why I like it, I feel like it opens your eye. It makes it appear a bit larger. And it doesn't close in on your eyes. So I like to go like basically all around it. I've been using this brush forever and it just doesn't even like feel soft. And it's not like I have, <laughs> look how many brushes I have and I still just keep using it. Now underneath, I have been focusing, when I do my like everyday makeup, I'm gonna like explain it even more because this does, damn it, this does apply. But I used to like always focus more on the top of my eye, like when I would do my makeup. And now I've been focusing more on the bottom, which, I'm very surprised about because I used to hate eyeshadow or anything like really at the bottom of my eyes, even mascara. And now I like it. And that was just a bit too dark. I did not want it to be that dark. That's okay. Um, by the way, I'm taking just a smaller brush like this and I'm taking the same color as I use on top. And see, I'm just kind of like connecting it. Now for the top half, I'm going to go in with this tight brush. I love this brush from Marc Jacobs. I'm not sure if they sell these still. I'll find a, I can't remember. I think there's a dupe to this, but I love this brush. It's just like a smudge brush. And I'm gonna go with the darkest color here. And I'm gonna first start by flicking a line there. And I just like wanna lightly, cause I'm not sure how much of a wing I really wanna do because I don't really have an idea of what I want my makeup to be like right now. I'm just going i didn't make this as high as i wanted it that's okay yeah you know what i think i'm gonna do for this look so i did a little bit of line there right i'm gonna go in with a brush like this it's just like a tight tighter fluffier brush 
but you see it kind of goes to the tip. I want to go here and a little bit here, and then we're just going to go a little there. And I'm going to start kind of fluffing it right there, upwards. I don't really want like harsh lines and just more very soft and romantic. Oh, I really love these colors. I was just talking earlier today. I just about with my manager that I hate when sometimes you get like color palettes and you're like, what do I do with these? Or sometimes it just like doesn't make sense. And so far all of this really complements each other. But Max OGs, oh they know what they're doing. And I'm gonna like, I'm gonna take a, see a brush like this that's like feathery like that. I'm just gonna slowly brush it away. So that's usually why I will start with the eyes because I can just easily clean up, but I'm kind of digging the matte for the inside. I might leave it. I might leave it matte. And just to really like set it in matte, I'm gonna take my Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette. You can honestly just take a powder. I mean, it's pretty matte already the way it is. And I do like when it is the same color as the face a bit, but I'm just, because again, I feel like doing the most today. I'm just gonna kind of set this. Take this one and this guy right here, the two lightest colors. I'm just gonna set it all the way inwards. I'm actually taking the white one now and kind of going more in the inner corners. Just to really brighten up inside the eye. Okay. And now I'm gonna go in with this beautiful champagne color. And I'm taking them just like a brush like this. And now I'm gonna go in just in the corners here. It's not as shimmery as I thought it was gonna be, which means I can kind of drag it out here. Yeah, actually, sorry about the whole step. I actually really like this to be here. It's not as like shimmery as I thought, so it's gonna look really pretty and glowy, but not too glowy and shimmery, you know what I mean? So because I didn't do the, the glow that I wanted necessarily, I'm going to take this Ciate London highlighter in Starburst and just a sharp brush like this. And now I'm gonna go, yeah. Go this, go inwards here. And a little bit on the brow. And since we're here, we're gonna do a little on the nose. I just, it needs more contour. I just feel like my nose needs more contour. It can do more. So I'm going to, oof, a lot of powder in my eye. I'm going to go in with this brush right here. And this is from Iconic London. I don't know why it's so dirty, but I'm going in with my MAC Golden Powder, Golden, Refined Golden Bronzing Powder and just kind of set it. I just feel like it kind of needs to be like more matte because the light is reflecting off my entire nose defeating the purpose of a contour for the eyes, or I mean for the eyelashes. You know what I think I need to? I'm gonna go back in with this, and this is my translucent powder. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bring it up a bit. I'm kind of just exper experimenting right now because realistically, I used to like sit and practice and do my makeup all the time. I really don't anymore. So sometimes like after a while, I'm like, I just need to like get in my bathroom and just like experiment with makeup and see what works and works and what doesn't work. And what better time to do it than when you're on camera and people are watching. So, okay, we tried. All right, so we are gonna do eyelashes. What do I wanna do with my lashes? Every time I watch like an Alex Earl video, she always makes me wanna use an eyelash curler, but I just like don't know how to use them or they just don't work with me, I don't know. I also haven't tried that hard. We're gonna start to do what I normally would just naturally do. I don't, haven't been really doing lashes a lot, which is crazy because I used to like, I used to hate my makeup unless I had lashes. It just, makeup never made sense to me without lashes and it's just crazy that nowadays I barely use it. I'm gonna go with my Lottie London Super Fake Mascara. I love this stuff, it's super affordable. It's like available at Walmart. This is not an ad even though I have done an ad with them before, but like legit, I love this mascara. It's like, it's thick. So, so mascaras, you just gotta keep going. 
just to like make it look like something. And this stuff just kind of does it. It's just like thick enough. It just like gets it all the way. I feel like one coat is equivalent to four coats of a regular mascara. So I'm gonna start with one and see how I feel. Because surprisingly enough, I don't want to be too Barbie doll glam. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, which I always been, I have been doing a lot lately, is just been doing mascara just on the corners. I don't know. I just dusted them with a little translucent powder to kind of like tone them down a bit, which is actually a really cool move. I mean, I putting on some mascara and like, I don't know, I shouldn't advise this because that could be a mess for a lot of people, but I don't know. I just put on some translucent over it and I feel like it toned it down just a bit. I'm going in with my Clio and I'm just gonna just darken this just a little here just to bring back a little definition. So there was a few things that I just had to do off camera just to kind of figure out before I kept running us in circles. So first I decided no lashes because I thought about them. As of right now, I'm just gonna lightly flush mo fluff, mo fluff mostly at the ends, right? Like this, right? And then for my nose, I found the answer of why I just felt like it was just a little too creamy, which is great for the face, but for the nose, I don't recommend the bronzer for a contour. It is what it is called, a bronzer. But for my nose, I love this eyebrow. Um, it's an eyebrow shadow powder and it's very affordable on Amazon called Palladio and this is in the shade Taupe. And I just took a little bit of brush and it makes sense because it's also a very, um, color and that's great for contour um, so I put a little bit of that there and I have little flakes on my nose and yes I need more blush so what I'm gonna do I'm going to use I'm gonna first I'm gonna mess with two colors because I don't know which one I want to do but I love this Armani blush in the shade 15 I'm taking this hourglass brush right here and I'm just gonna add just a little bit of color and it's like the perfect shade for it on my forehead and i mentioned this in one of my other videos on my tiktok but i like to take blush and kind of use it like i'm trying to show you it kind of has a nose contour right there i think it's really cute without like interfering with the contour of it. I'm just straight up addicted to this stuff. I've been using this since I started making videos and I will forever. This is another product that love, Gold Deposit. One time my mom, and this is no shade to Mac, I love Mac, but this one girl, I walked into a Mac store and I went to go buy my mom. I was with my mom and I wanted to show her and like buy it for her. Cause she's like, what is on your cheeks? And so we were at the mall, we walked into Mac and I was like, oh, I would love to, you know, have this matte, con this matte gold deposit. It's like one of my favorite bronzers. And the girl's like, that's not a bronzer. That's a highlighter um, for someone who has darker skin tone than you. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I just love using it as a bronzer. It's a beautiful color. Like, it's awesome. And she just kept insisting that I, that it was just a highlighter and it wasn't for me and that it wasn't a bronzer. Like, I couldn't use it as a bronzer and I was just so ticked off by it that I was like, peace, mom, I'm gonna buy this online for you. But just didn't make sense to me. Like cosmetics can, if it works for you, it works for you. If you wanna use an eyebrow pencil on your lips, you can do that, you can do whatever you want. But anyways, I do love MAC though. So it's nothing to do with MAC, just the girl. I love this stuff, like look how beautiful. But I'm just addicted to having that on my cheeks no matter what I do. Um, just to bring some of the pink back I'm gonna bring this so obviously I have a lot of color on my lips already and I don't mind it actually I just want a little more So I think I'm gonna go in. This is the dibs lip liner in no pressure And now we have no pressure And as you guys already mentioned I'll just repeat it for the sake of it. 
I have Reach High and Maybelline I will link it and I'll wear glasses silk on already yeah these colors look beautiful together I kind of want to go darker and I don't know which one I want to yet maybe one of these two you know the my next mahogany one i always use will be gray this will be gray this will make it a little more red this will bring a little purple i'm gonna go with this one um this is para para in wine nude i can always overlap if this isn't what i'm looking for let's see it's not giving me really what i want let's try the nyx lip liner in hollywood honey this is what i wanted I want to just way more depth for this look. And I'm going to go back in with my slip. Just kind of have this on. It's so pretty. Obsessed. Obsessed with this stuff. You know, I have not set my bronzer, so I'm going to go with my MAC bronzer. Just set everywhere that I put bronzer. Always put makeup on your chest, your neck. If you're gonna put makeup all over your face the way I did, just to make it really blend. I'm insane, so I'm going to just do a little more under my eyes. So I'm taking my smudge brush that I love and just a little bit of like, maybe this one, this color and this color. I'm going really tight in my eye all the way through. I'm really debating if I wanna do a liner on the inside. Or do I want to keep it light? When I'm trying to see if I want to do liner, I'll start with a light color and then I will slowly layer with darker to be safe. So I'm going to go with my favorite, NYX um, eyeliner in um, aqua green. If you got blue or green eyes, this is a really great liner. It gives like a little definition without it like overpowering the eye. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave, leave that. I'm gonna add just a little more definition here. Drag it out just a little bit more. I'm doing more. What I just did is I just took this dark color here and this right here. I dragged a little more of a wing. And I'm kind of fluffing it upwards. I'm gonna blend it with a fluffier brush. And now looking downwards, I am just kind of making a little bit of a line. Just giving it a little more of a vintage feel. Now I'm gonna go in with my brush, one of them, this one. Put the brush like this. And I'm gonna dust it. I have been slowly darkening all this with the same colors I used before. I just, see, I do this all the time. But I, I like it, I wanna, I guess I was really feeling like a vintage 20s, 30s type of vibe. And I think I got it. We're finishing off strong with some highlighter. And I have this iconic brush right here. I'm gonna take my Ciate London Star Burst highlighter. I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna put it there. And I think we're finally Good. I lie, don't kill me, don't kill me. And this is more of like a fun um, experiment video. Now I'm going in with my Iconic London blush in Kiss by the Sun and it's so pretty. It's like, it's like a warm peachy color with some gold shimmer in it. And I just feel like this look can kind of handle it. And I'm just gonna kind of dab it there, just a little here and I swear I'm done. And that is it. This is the look I went for today, and I find it to be very pretty, very editorial, which I always love. And here is a closer look at everything. I forgot to mention, Amazon. These are Amazon. This is my girlfriend's, I will link it. This is Amazon. These are Amazon and Amazon.
And that brings us to our sponsor and our sponsor is Squarespace. So if any of you guys are starting your own business of any kind and you guys need a website, a domain, if you need to build a website, Squarespace is a great all-in-one place that you can do all of that. They will help you with it. They have templates that are already made. All you gotta do is just drag things in there, type in your bio, all that good stuff. They can do subscriptions, e-commerce. I have my own website with Squarespace. And this is it, I love it. And we have a lot more coming. So subscribe to it, you know, subscribe to this, Just subscribe to my YouTube channel, you know. But yeah, I am always such a big cheerleader for people going after their dreams and going after just a better life and things that make them happy. It's never really easy. It's a lot of ups and downs, but it's, it's better than being born and being safe. You know, so go after your dreams. If you need a website, go to Squarespace and uh, and yeah, so when you guys are ready, sign up for a free trial and once you're ready to go, go to squarespace.com slash Gene Watts for 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you guys for watching this video. <laughs> I am doing a lot more. Let me know what you guys want. I am preparing for another um, spiritual video. I have one in mind. I need to like brush back on some things and some books that kind of reminded me of it. There's two books I want to like go back into and uh, reread again. And I got something really big coming on the way. It's going to be a couple months, but it's super exciting. And it's just the beginning. Do your inner work. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you guys later. Bye.